against. A screen quote says two wolves struggle inside everyone at the start. It implies that we all have a monster inside us and can choose to let it rule us. A woman walks through the forest in the dark, calling out to William until she sees something and pauses. She is shocked and frightened by the sight. A werewolf attacked a person. It acts as a prologue to the story. The film opens with Willow, in her room, curiously watching her mother and grandfather. Willow had always thought her mother, Imogen, Ashley Coomings, and granddad, Waylon, lied to her. With a farm pig, they would go into the jungle where her father would sleep. Her mother and granddad returned before dark, and her father returned the next day soaked in blood. Kit Harrington plays Imogen's husband and Willow's dad, who undergoes a werewolf transformation every full moon. Because he is very attracted to the smell of blood, his family has taken to hiding out in a house next to a thick forest so that he and his secret can remain safe. Willow wants to know everything, but her mother Imogen isn't saying a word. She seems overwhelmed and can't seem to keep her cool. While exploring the city, Willow notices blue-black blotches on her mother's skin, which may indicate a secret truth. As Willow ventures more into the woods, she learns a chilling secret about her father Noah. Claire sees her mother, Imogen, detain and lock up a nude Noah while she hides in the crumbling remains of a long-gone castle. Willow's mind will never be the same after witnessing her father's horrific werewolf transformation. Imogen and Noah forbid them from leaving, but her grandpa Waylon, who wants to run away with her to the city, finds comfort in her company. While hiking in the woods, Noah tells Willow the story of a curse in the family. Noah's grandpa committed suicide because of a curse that has been passed down through the generations involving a werewolf that murdered his grandma. Noah is a disturbed man with rage problems and a tendency to hurt his family, his father, who was impacted by the trauma, has molded him into this way. The curse is symbolic of the men's passed down harmful patterns from their early lives, and it goes beyond the supernatural. The insecurities and anxieties that Noah feels about his loved ones cause him to act possessively and paranoid, which ultimately leads to a fight with his wife, Imogen. As Noah is out in the forest gathering wood, he finds the dress that Imogen wore on her way to the city stashed behind the truck seat. Noah's heightened senses pick up a man's scent on the dress, leading him to believe that Imogen is seeing someone else, even though there is no actual evidence of it. Willow, Noah and Imogen's kid, may be physically abused because the dispute happens in front of her. The potential effects on Willow's growth and health are causes for worry. Whose inner demons are the film's primary focus? Although werewolves do have supernatural abilities, they aren't often showcased because of possible financial constraints. Noah's impotence to reign in his feelings and behaviors even when surrounded by loved ones is symbolized by the film's emphasis on the metaphorical inner beast inside him. In the movie's climax, young Willow sets the werewolf Noah on fire, leaving his fate uncertain due to his supernatural nature. Imogen and Willow prepare to leave Noah's house, suggesting they've escaped his control. Noah's manipulative words may impact Willow as she grows, and the effects of his abusive behavior will likely linger on both Willow and Imogen. Noah, cursed with lycanthropy, struggles to control his transformations, leading to violent outbursts and abuse towards his wife, Imogen. During a family moment, Imogen's expression of love triggers Noah's anger, causing him to attack her. Noah's fear of abandonment fuels his aggression, resulting in severe injuries to Imogen during his werewolf transformation on the final full moon night. As the next full moon approaches, Noah's werewolf transformation becomes increasingly uncontrollable. On the fateful night, he breaks free from his chains and rushes home, driven by paranoia and a desire to protect his family. Noah mistakenly believes that Whalon and Imogen are trying to take Willow away from him, leading him to attack Whalon and force Imogen and Willow to flee into the forest for their lives. In the midst of their escape from the haunted forest, Imogen and her daughter Willow encounter Noah, a shape-shifting werewolf who abducts Willow and takes her to his dilapidated castle in the woods. As Imogen attempts to reason with Noah and bring him back to his senses, he experiences flashbacks of happy family moments. However, a misunderstanding arises when Imogen accidentally expresses her love for Noah in his werewolf form, leading him to believe that she would eventually leave him. This triggers a violent attack, 
leaving Imogen severely injured. Willow, determined to protect her mother, uses her oxygen tank to set Noah on fire, potentially ending the werewolf's reign of terror. While Noah's fate remains uncertain, the lingering question lingers. Will the family curse finally be broken with his demise? In the midst of her father's cursed legacy, Willow finds herself grappling with her destiny as she delves into the pages of White Fang, seeking to comprehend her father's psyche through the eyes of a canine protagonist. Despite her mother's call to set out for the city, Willow hesitates, haunted by the memory of her father's ominous words, labeling her as a little monster and hinting at the impending curse that would befall her. This hesitation mirrors her apprehension about carrying the potential seeds of darkness within her as she ventures into the unknown, fully aware that the family curse will relentlessly pursue her wherever she goes. While the narrative has its flaws, particularly in terms of maintaining tension and suspense, the child's perspective adds a fresh dimension to the werewolf horror subgenre. Despite its shortcomings, The Beast Within offers an intriguing entry point for horror enthusiasts, delving into the concept of losing trust in one's family and the safety of one's home.